Hi, drawing and painting. Uh, today, I'm going to take walk you through our first class assignment um, at home, and it's on gesture drawing. And I just wanted to let you guys know that if you if you taken a look at this handout that you have, um, I'm going to sum it up for you. Gesture drawing is just a a style of drawing where the artist uh, quickly. Uh, jots down um, the information that they're seeing. Uh, a lot of times it was used for figure drawing or drawing um, people in motion. Uh, so it's often a favorite uh, drawing um, style for most students because it involves a lot of sketching. Um, it's very loose. It's not uh, you know, based on realism. Um, neither is it based on abstraction. It's kind of like a little bit in between. So. Um, take a look at the, this packet. Uh, inside it has all the assignments from Dave today. And if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call at school. Uh, my extension is 106. So today's assignment is to practice um, doing some gesture drawings. And I'm going to walk you guys uh, through the steps in case if this was confusing for you. Okay, so uh, what you're going to need is this image of the basketball player. And you're also going to need this grid that's here, okay? Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at, um, you know, our figure that is in motion. You know, this is the, the photograph has is, is captured him nicely in motion, but um, if we were drawing him in front of us right now, uh, you know, if we were watching this basketball game live, you know, we would only have a few seconds to get down this kind of detail if we didn't have a camera on us. So how do artists do that? Well, the first thing that they look for is the line of motion and uh, or the line of action. And this is kind of an imaginary line that runs down the spine of a figure. Um, the more curve that you put into the line, the more attitude, the more force or movement um, seems to be communicated. So. Uh, the first, to find the line of emotion, what I like to do is I find the head of the figure. And then, you know, we know that attached to the head is the spine. Uh, and I follow all the way down through even the leg of the figure as well. Okay. And the reason why is because, you know, your feet are connected to the floor. As your feet move, your your spine moves, your arms move. Um, and, you know, everything is kind of based off of this, this, this center line, this line of action. Now, the next thing that artists do when we're, say, if we were actually watching this live basketball game, they would then block in the other important details, for example, the arms, you know, how they're bending. And you'll notice that this arm appears longer than this one because of the way that it's positioned, right? His back is facing us and we get a little bit of foreshortening. And foreshortening is when um, an object is angled away or even it can be angled towards you as well. But what happens is the object appears to be shorter. Now we know he, he doesn't have one tiny little arm and one long arm. It's just um, because of our perspective and our view, this tends to get a little skewed. And we have an assignment in your sketchbook that you guys will be working with for shortening. So the next thing is I'm gonna draw this his foot down here. Um, and what I have is a stick figure. Now the next thing that we're going to do in order to kind of plump this up is to use some block in or what that just basically means is uh you know some scribbled lines to kind of indicate you know the the volume of you know his clothing his um his legs you know depending on how tight or how loose you want to make it and this is quick don't overthink gesture drawing you know, sometimes you know as artists we overthink stuff and then, you know, things get skewed because we're second guessing ourselves. This is a very quick form of, of drawing. Um, when you guys are all done, you know, drawing out your, or copying or drawing over your, your image here, not copying, we're drawing through the image. Uh, you're gonna move this off to the side and you're gonna see that, hey, you know, even though this lacks the detail um, that's in the photograph, you know, we still get the idea of this, this figure moving, um, you know, and you know, maybe even if I put the basketball there, that would even give uh, some more indication of, of what's going on in this scene. So what I'd like for you guys, I'm just going to add that basketball in there. What I'd like for you guys to do 
is to afterwards, you know, yes, we used this fluid system um, differently than we did for our last project, but this grid system helps um, you to kind of see how, how the figure is, is moving across these planes. So what you're going to do next is you're going to take a piece of paper. And what I'd like for you guys to do is practice copying that image onto this piece of paper. And you're going to follow the same way that you did uh, when you drew it with the Expo marker. So, you know, start with the head, you know, draw that, that line of, of action. Okay. Um, then draw the other necessary limbs. Look at the spaces between your, your, um, your details, like the legs and the arms. Look at your foreshortening, you know, the curves that are there. And again, don't overthink this, you know, work uh, quickly. Cause when you tend to slow down, you overthink, oh, this isn't right. You know, so work very, very, very quickly with your gesture drawing and it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. So you can have lines go scribble this way, that way. It doesn't matter. Okay? As long as you are giving the motion. That's it. Okay. Uh, when you're done, put your name on it and hold on to this. I will be collecting it. If you could drop it off to the school um, in the main office, that is terrific. Make sure that your name is on every single assignment and that the um, projects are grouped together like so. And that's super helpful. Um, another helpful thing is if you get stuck with uh, figure drawing or any of the assignments, I want you to know that in this packet, I do have a variety of different um, examples, things to kind of help you out with, you know, finding the line of action. Also, too, what do gestures look like? This is um, one of our, our projects that we're going to be working on newsprint in. Uh, and, you know, just some, a variety of different people and, and motion so that you can get an idea of, of what that, that should look like. Okay. All right. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, and if you have any questions, again, call. Thanks. Bye.